Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching A Dad's Life. And today we're gonna to continue our work on Buddy's Enclosure. I got some sanding to do, and I'm gonna to try to go ahead and get the uh, VCT flooring in on the sides and the back, and hopefully I can get that done today. But if not, we'll jump back tomorrow and continue our work. So I'll see you out in the workshop. So we're back in the workshop and I got a few places I want to sand to get everything ready to put the finish on it and to put the flooring down. So I have some areas here that I need to sand to make smooth and a few rough spots along the sides and the back. So I'm going to go ahead and get those took care of and then once that's done I'm going to clean and vacuum out the inside and start getting the flooring installed in Buddy's enclosure. So one thing to keep in mind when you're sanding is when you have veneered plywood or you're working with a very thin layer of wood that you're trying to sand to, if you have any scratches or anything, it's better to sand them out by hand than to use a power sander. Because what you can end up doing is you can sand right through the top of this veneer and then show the plywood underneath and that will pretty much destroy the piece if you're wanting to get a finished look. So the vinyl flooring that I'm going to be using is a gray ash. Uh, it's a wood color. Uh, things will go nicely with this. It'll be easy to clean up and to cut and to fit. So all you got to do is measure the size that you need cut it to length and then uh, glue it down. It's already got self adhesive. So all you gotta do is measure the size of a piece you need, lay it out, cut it, peel off the sticky back and then place it down and you're good to go. So let's go ahead and get this started. And for today's Surprise guest, it's Landon. Yeah, he tried to do it himself and then brought it to the shop today and tried to blame it on us. And then we proved that he hadn't gotten an oil change in the past uh, year. Said, well, yeah, I've been doing it myself. Oh, and you came to blame it on us. Great. So he tried to do it himself. He put his filter on way too tight and he put on his drain plug so tight that it actually cracked his oil pan down where the plug goes in. So he, he wasn't happy when I told him his vehicle would have to stay overnight for the mechanic to look at it. So this is how it's going to lay flat down against the bottom and then I have my line here that's going to be the edge of my glass so when my glass goes here so that's what I'm going to do tonight but I'll be back in the morning and get some more work done because this Texas heat is no joke so I'll see you in the morning. Hey everybody it's actually a couple days later and let's go back out to the workshop and start where we left off. Sometimes I find it pretty difficult to uh, be able to work on my normal work, my real job, and then find time to be able to do projects. 
but with like anybody's life you're always going to have things that if you want to do it you always make time for it so but this is something that is for one of my pets and it's something that i know it's going to last for a very long time and so i'm going to make time for it but let's go ahead and get the base put back in and get that finished up and then i got a box of goodies in which is the remaining items i need in order to complete uh, buddy's enclosure so let's go ahead and get back started Now we finally have the lining for inside of Buddy's enclosure done. Now we'll go ahead and start mounting the rails that go up here and then I'll do one final sand and start doing the polish. So it's been a few days since I've last worked on Buddy's enclosure. Uh, unfortunately, I live in Texas, so the weather outside has been around 98 to 97 degrees. So me working in the uh, workshop, well, it just bakes me. So what I've been doing is I've been finished it up. I, uh, I finished up sanding and got everything ready for the little odds and ends. I've got to install the lights in his enclosure and I've got to uh, put a finish coat on the inside top of his enclosure. And then the rest of that, it'll be good to go. So this weekend, Buddy's gonna be in his new home. So let's go ahead and go to PetSmart and get the remaining items that I need and some dog food for the dogs because we just can't forget about June Bug and Maybell. So let's start the montage now. <laughs> So we are done in the workshop. All the work for the sanding and the polyurethane finish that I put on Buddy's enclosure is done. The only thing we have left now, we went to PetSmart. We got the pet supplies we needed. I also have the lights here and the slotting glass door locks. We're going to go ahead and get those last little bits installed and Buddy's enclosure will be finished. I've drilled a small hole up in the uh, top right of Buddy's enclosure and that's what we're going to be running our uh, lights through. So we'll go ahead and turn this upside down and start running the lights and get that one done. Now that we have the lights installed, all we have left to do is install the heating mat and we're done with another So we're in the wood shop right now and 
I have looked at Home Depot and Lowe's and uh, a couple of specialty stores. The only thing I found that looked halfway decent for the door handles, for the sliding glass doors, are these little clear plastic finger tabs that are on uh, like a display case or anything like that. So I just think they look bad. And since we have some off cuts of some of the wood we're using, I'm going already glued up some little, uh, I guess, thumb handles. And we're gonna go ahead and sand those smooth. And then when we go back into the house, we'll glue them on uh, to the glass and we'll have our handles done. So this is the handles that we made, uh, one for each side. I'm going to go ahead and sand them smooth so when we place them on the glass we'll have an area to have our thumb and push over to open the slotting glass doors. So we'll go ahead and get these sanded and glued on. Okay we have our glass installed. Uh, it slides really well and now let's go ahead and put on our handles. that one installed and this one installed. Now the very last thing for Buddy's enclosure is the lock and that's it. We'll put Buddy in his enclosure. And there we have it, Buddy Enclosures is done. Once the uh, enclosure with the heating mat gets up to temperature and I can make sure that it has a nice stable temperature for him to be in his new enclosure, then I'll go ahead and transplant him from his old enclosure into the new one. And I won't bother him for a couple of days to allow him to adjust uh, to the new enclosure, but I think he's gonna like this much bigger one just fine. Now this is a larger 40 gallon footprint but it's a lot higher than what you can buy in the store so if you go and look at how much the enclosures are for like a 40 gallon they're usually run anywhere between 200 and 250 dollars so with the cost of the plywood and the cost of the hardwood and with the accessories that I bought I'm looking at around $289 but for me this is something that's going to last for a very long time than one of the little glass ones you can buy at you know an outlet store but I hope you enjoy this content we're going to move on to Jacob or Jake from State Farm which is my son's cat and we're going to build him a cat shelf in my son's room so that's another video that you can look forward to in the future. We're going to get started on that probably here in the next couple of weeks. So until next time, I'll see you then.